So, this year hasn't been normal. Neither is last year. Shocker, I know. Uh, but what has happened is that now, this year, 2020, season five? Season, season five. five. Yeah. We had a lot more stuff come out in season five because uh, we uh, Acton TV and a lot of other companies and businesses were had adjusted to the pandemic and we were allowed to come in and make movies again. Woohoo. Woo. So, yeah. This year, we a lot more cool stuff came out. Uh, in the beginning of season five, we had the great mini film fest. Thank you, Sam. We had a lot of cool films in that, like Febreze, other films I don't remember the name of. Wanna and be yeah. Gangster. What gangster? Wanna, Wanna be gangster. Wanna be gangster, yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo were that. We had bigger projects such as Adarsh's IKEA film, Woohoo. And um, we also had some uh, sort of more uh, one off indie projects like. Uh, well, I say they're indie, all indie. <laughs> they're pretty much all indie. Um, but uh, we had the AI-generated scripts, which were really cool. Uh, yeah, th those were, wow. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah, The Legend of Gary Greenway. Yes. You watched that. It was, a, it was a script written by a computer. Oh, that's, that's uh, sorry, just to, to, to steal the thunder from you. Yeah, we had a, our Acton TV's first ever AI-generated script taking the jobs away from the writers at Acton TV. It's called the Legend of Gary now. It's called the Legend of Gary Greenway, and it's about a puppet, an alien puppet who murders old people. Awesome! Didn't know we had jobs. So, um, anyways, so this presentation is the ABYMP Awards, as you might know. Now, every single one of the projects that came out this year and was produced this year at Acton TV had a whole lot of love and a whole lot of really cool stuff that went into it. But these awards are just for some of the really interesting and cool projects that we would like to highlight. And with that out of the way, with this epic transition, we're going to go into our first award, Rookie of the Year. Do we have the award certificates? Yeah, they're right under that. <laughs> they are? Okay. Awesome. We're going to see if we can find this. We're not, I'm not sure. Uh, Great transition. Um, so this this awards while while he does that I'm just going to distract everybody. Um, we uh, so the rookie of the year award was something that uh, that Adam and company actually came up with a couple of years ago, and it was kind of like recognizing some of the people who were first timers at AB Youth Media and uh, just some of the uh, the excellent work that they've done. Um, we haven't had as we haven't actually especially the past few weeks had a good number of of newcomers at, at AB Youth Media this year. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, it sounds like we're about ready. Do you want to remember the nominees and then the winner? Do we have nominees? Yes, it's on the paper. There's three <laughs> the names and then read the circled okay. one. Wow. I'm confident you're expressing no The circled one is the one. The nominees for the Rookie of the Year award were Lucia, <laughs> Ava Hajorov, <laughs> that one of the men I'm pronouncing that right, uh, and Sydney Judd. It's kind of got a lot to cut off at the bottom, so there might be more. No, I'm sorry. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the winner of the Rookie of the Year Award for 2021 is Lucia Sabretti yeah. from Sabretelli. Yeah. Come here. Would you like to say anything more? AB Youth Media TV for this um, Rookie of the Year Award. <laughs> I'm very honored to have received it, <laughs> to have received it, and I would like to thank my big greatest supporters for this award. I love you very much. Um, <laughs> my year has been lovely. Thank you. <laughs> The second award, best stunt work, uh, was about. Oh, uh, oh dear. Um, Do you want to cycle through and we'll each talk about them a little bit? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, so the this the next award is the best stunt work award. Does anybody have anything to say about that? I can say something. Yeah. So uh, the best stunt work award we had a similar format last year with um, best choreography, and um, this category can encompass numerous things such as dancing. Um, on-screen falls, stuff like that. 
and there certainly was a lot of that that stuff this year, whether on purpose or not. Um, and uh, we we have three good nominations for this category, and while we uh, certainly appreciate everybody's dedication to make these falls and dancing happen, uh, there can only be one winner. So when Teddy is ready, he will be pronouncing the winner of the best uh, the best stunt work in the fall category. The we're very organized. <laughs> These aren't in order. Um, we had some great, some great nominees. Um, we had, uh, and these, uh, our Wi Fi is down, but hopefully it will be back and I can show you some of these. We had uh, Jason Fitzgerald's Complete Face Plant Fall for The Legend of Jerry <laughs> Gary Greenway. We had uh, Lucia Sabatelli getting knocked out with a stapler in uh, The Wannabe Gangster. Uh, that was very violent, that was very nicely done. And we had uh, Spaghetti Jensen Fellows for Teddy Spaghetti Dancing Part 3, Sin and Ecstasy. <laughs> All right, so the winner for the, uh, the Best Stunt Work Award is... Me. Hey, I, I won. Woohoo. Thank you. Speech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dancing is fun. Um, yeah, none of them were choreographed, fun fact. Yeah, so, uh, I, I, yeah, I did, yeah. All right, good job. Uh, I'll do the next one if you want. Sure. All right. So the next award is, I, I need that. Maybe. All right. So I should speak, we have, uh, we had a judging panel consisting of people who were not, I wasn't one of the judges because I was, just to be completely out of it, but we had a, a distinguished judging panel of people who are of AB Youth Media but weren't here a lot this year, so it's a very totally unbiased panel, and um, I don't know why I feel like I could go out of my way to say that, it makes it sound super suspicious. Um, <laughs> I swear. Our next, <laughs> our next award is the best VFX work, so this is uh, basically honoring the people who kind of went above and beyond at Acton TV in the editing process to add effects in post-production. Um, our first nominee is uh, Mort Johnson falling out of a crane to his death in Mort Ep in the industry episode 001, Mort Johnson Crane Driver. We have uh, the light tracking effect from Febreze in which um, we use the, they use the lantern outside, but Lucia and Jason added a light tracking so that the went, font went over it. And we have the extensive color correction for Locked in Ikea, and for this, Adarsh basically had the entire studio look like Ikea after dark and completely transform the look of it with color correction after. All right, is everybody ready? The ABYMP Award for Best VFX Work, it goes to uh, Febreze, the light tracking work. Uh, I think it was you and Jason, if you want to say anything. Yeah. Do you want to give... I would like to thank Shubu for sponsoring that video. No. Um, thank you so much. I had so much fun editing all of the videos at ABU Media, but editing this one was one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right. So, the next, the next award is Best Editor. Now, this award goes to somebody who did a lot of work on editing and somebody who put all their best into editing some of really, some really, really good content. The nominees for the Best Editor are Ava Hijorth for The Legend of Gary Greenway. <laughs> Lucia, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this. Uh, Sabetti for The Reunion of the Plot Assistance of the... It's called the reunion or the plot to assassinate the all-powerful Xeroxer using poison cookies. Of course. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Adarsh for Locked in Ikea. And Sam Keller for Spaghetti Mocha. And the winner for the best editor, uh, for the best editor, goes to Sam Keller. Come on up here, buddy. For Spaghetti Mocha. Was fun. I mean, that's all I can say. Woo! <laughs> you didn't take the award. It's a piece of paper. Don't you want it? <laughs>
Yes. High quality pieces of paper. Yeah. Paper. Yeah. Paper. Yeah. paper. I'll put it with my other pieces of paper. Um. Alright. Does uh, do you want to get one of Valerie? Oh yeah, you want to get one? Sure. Which one am I doing? Gender inclusive. It's all it's just okay. acting. We don't have separated based off. All right. So Jason Fitzgerald for Patrick Snow visits the hypnotherapist <laughs> Lucia Sabatelli for The Legend of Gary Greenway and Arhan. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Cara. but Arhan Cara, he's not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, for the reunion or the plot to assassinate the almighty Xerox are using poison cookies. And the winner is Jason Fitzgerald. <laughs> you don't have to turn this one in half. Do you want to say anything? I don't think that the hypnotherapy actually worked. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you feel better, Patrick. Do you want to do another one? I can do it. All right, so for this category, we're doing Best Actor. And um, the first nomination for this category is uh, Spaghetti Jensen Fellows for The Industry. Uh, now, now we have uh, Christoph Conley for The Legend of Gary Greenway. And then finally, although this was filmed a while ago, it's still eligible, we have Luke Dros for Kidnapped. All right, so the winner for this category is... It was only uploaded yeah. this year. That's why it counts. All right, so the winner for this category is Spaghetti Jensen Fellows. I'm sure he's holding his own award right now. Well, uh, that was a fun part. I like doing the accent. It was kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Next in line, we have the Best Writer Award. Which, now, the Best Writer Award uh, was, wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> All right, so the Best Writer Award, this is obviously a big one. Um, we didn't include the AI for Legend of Gary Greenway. Uh, but there's several projects to hear. Uh, there are several nominees for each of these projects. One thing that um, was kind of cool about each of these is that they were all collaborative, and people basically came up with the ideas together. Some of them utilized dialogue assignments, and some of them were just otherwise completely original. Uh, our nominees are Lucia Sabatelli, Jason Fitzgerald, and Arhan Kalra for the reunion. Thank you. Uh, Adarsh Karthikayan and Jason Fitzgerald for the wannabe gangster. And Lucia Sabatelli and Arhan Kalra for Febreze. And the winner is everyone. This was literally a three-way tie. So we what? made certificates for everybody. Uh, a four-way? A three-way? Yeah. Three no, it's a... No, because multiple people won for each. So, Adarsh, you can come up here, too. Arhan's not here, so he can't accept, but... All right. Well, would anybody like to speak to their projects? I'll let you go. Thank you. Um, board of committee for this award. I would like to congratulate my other competitors on their lovely, um, on their lovely projects. The end. <laughs> So for Best Director, it goes to, well, the somebody who somebody whose film we thought would be was best directed in the year. Yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> our nominees for Best Director were Adarsh Catherine for Locked in Ikea. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, for Locked in Ikea, Lucia, uh, Lucia, Arhan, and Jason for the reunion of the plot at... I'm not going to try to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and Ben Sturgeon for the Patrick Snow visits the hypnotherapist. And the winner for the Best Director Award is Ben, ben Sturgeon. Oh, cool. 
wins your award. Yeah. Say so. Um, wow, I was not actually expecting to win anything, mainly because uh, I thought it was just for all the new people here. Uh, well, I am excited for this, sort of. <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about this, considering one of them is Sam, our own, and the other is Spaghetti. What, what was this? That's your signature. That's your signature? Yeah. <laughs> it's bad, right? Don't mock the signature. I'm not going to mock the signature. I'm only going to mock spaghetti signature. Because this looks like literal spaghetti. <laughs> and it's perfect. It fits. Okay. Anyways, uh... Last thing I'm going to say is I win. So we're going to find the 10th. All right. So for best long short, now these are relatively rare at Action TV, so I'm kind of surprised we had so many this year because most of our stuff is uh, five minutes to below that. Best long short is anything from seven minutes up? Is that right? Uh, no, it's like usually three minutes up. Three yeah. minutes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was right it? Pirate here. was the longest? So, um, I think well, it's it's for best short short is 90 seconds. Now, like seven now seven uh, as compared to the best short short film, which is coming up next, which is under 90 seconds. Now, for best long short, we have our three nominees are Locked in Ikea. The Reunion, not going to pronounce it, um, and Gary Ge Greenway. Don't know how we would afford that, but okay. And the winner for the best long short of 2021 Active TV Awards is The Reunion. The Reunion, for the plot to assassinate all the mighty Exunia using plot poison cookies. You got half those words. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the award for best long short awarded to the reunion or the plot to assassinate the almighty Xerox or using poisoned cookies. I had so much fun working and editing this film. I would like to thank everyone for this opportunity. Pat made some good cookies. Alright, so for this category, we have uh, the best short short, and uh, that sounds kind of redundant, but this is stuff for just 90 seconds and under. And um, for this category, we have two nominations. Three. Three? That's it. Those two? Uh, I think the other one might have been Spaghetti Mocha. Alright. Well, we know one of the nominations now. So, <laughs> Spaghetti Mocha. Breeze, and then Akin TV's uh, first first musical endeavor. There's coffee on Rick's car. <laughs> All right. So the nominate. So the winner for this category is, as I said before, the coffee on Rick's car. It was a fun show. Now, next up is the prestigious and mighty Patrick Snow Award. Mighty, that's an interesting one. 
All right, so this is my, uh, this is, this is, a, this is one that was, uh, awkward when Adam first told me to, to pick one, because I was like, oh, that's a cool idea for an award, because basically he set up these awards that everybody else would vote on it, but the Patrick Snow Award was someone that I had to pick, and I'm like, oh, cool, that's cool, because we can, like, honor somebody with, like, a special award, but then I have to pick someone, and I have to single somebody out, and that's, like, always, like, because I'm always, everybody brings something different. And there's like something great that I can say about every single person uh, who comes here. Um, so there's not really nominees for this. The nominees are literally everybody. Um, so I'll just, I'll say who the, the winner is and then say a little bit uh, about this person because that's kind of the easier way to do it when this one. Um, so I am giving, and then I have one other thing after that. Um, I am giving this year's 20, season five Patrick Snow Award um, to... Uh, well, first I'll say, hold on, I, I'll say the name first and then I'll say a little bit of it. Patrick Snow Award 2021, uh, I'm giving to Adarsh Kartikayan. Okay. Um, and this is supposed to be, uh, when Adam first described this award to me, he said somebody who is, um, who has done a lot to make the, the program what it is and whose work has, like, not necessarily been, like, otherwise, just someone, like, who has stuff that, no matter whether it's prominent, like the main thing that's going on, they're always helping out, even if it's been like somewhat unrecognized. Um, and uh, Darsh has been coming for many years, and this past year especially, he's just been uh, really taking it on every time he comes in. He's just always working on something. Um, he wrote Locked in Ikea, which was like actually an entire full script and the wannabe gangster. Um, and it's just always helpful and always helping out with editing and filming things, and uh, this is just sort of this year and in your time here in general, you've just been someone who has been making it happen um, every single time, and uh, and it's really appreciated. And um, yeah, you can come up and accept your award. There you go. <clears throat> okay, um, first off, thank you, Patrick. I well, can't really... Uh, count how many times I asked you for help this year. And uh, I'm gonna thank off uh, James and Luke, since like they're like the persons I've worked most this year. And I've also wanted to thank all of you because all of you have like um, helped me in many different ways. And I wouldn't have been here without all of you and all of your help. Um, now, the last thing that I have, um, is someone who I was pretty sure was going to be here today, and I was right, he is here today, uh, who is graduating, um, that I realized I couldn't let him graduate. I hope that you'll be around us. I hope you'll still, you'll still keep coming. Um, but uh, the person I'm talking about is Trevor Brownhill. Uh, everybody applaud for Trevor. <laughs> um, so, graduate. so Trevor, you are someone who was integral to the founding of AB Youth Media and really set the tone for a lot of it in a good way. And um, we started doing like more awards type stuff like this, like right after you stopped coming as much. And so you never really got anything. Um, and I always felt kind of weird about that because I'm just like, I feel like it wouldn't be acting TV without Trevor. Um, because, and in addition to just the, the level of humor and just sort of aura that you brought to your projects, uh, and also when we first started that very first year, there's like two people, there's three people in this room in the first year. There was Trevor, Ben, and Adam, yeah. and then that's it. Um, and, uh, yeah, you were always the first to ask me if you could help out in setting up lunch or cleaning things up. And, um, I, I debated what to give because like, you're not really eligible for awards this year so much because you weren't really here, but that's okay. Uh, we're not mad. Um, but so I debated whether to give you a, uh, uh, I, I considered calling it the Lifetime Achievement Award because um, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but in the end, I had decided that there could be two Patrick Snow Awards this year because this is very much like a retrograde one being that like, if I could have given it earlier, I would have given one to you. So I am giving you one now before the end of this season. So, yeah. Trevor Brownhill, everybody. Well, hello, everyone. It's been a long time. 
I first came here in 2016. Oh, Can you believe it? That's crazy, isn't it? Um, it's been a really wild ride with Acton TV. Um, I, I really have seen so many new faces, so many new people come to Acton TV, and I don't recognize some of the people now because I haven't been here very much this year, just due to COVID and all that. Um, and I don't know, it's been really wonderful making films, watching films. Uh, in the very beginning, we did a uh, Godzilla film review. <laughs> Adam and Ben Sturgeon remember that. Yo, good. I remember it because I was in it. <laughs> <laughs> and. Oof. I think you lost something. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Well, I'm going to Thank you, Trevor. Acting TV, scuffed as always. <laughs> there have been so many wonderful things that everybody has created over the years, and it's just truly wonderful to see how Acta TV has grown. I hope that Patrick Snow will continue to be a staple of Acton TV, and even if he's not, it's great to see him. <laughs> and um, I'd just like to thank everybody here and new faces, old faces, even people that I haven't met. And it's just a proud to have been part of this group. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, that was the last award for the evening. I'd like to especially thank out, thank, uh, thank uh, Val and Adam for helping. They, they are like the people behind the scenes doing the judging and helping out with other things. Um, Especially, uh, it's so, thank you so much for coming back, everybody who has uh, graduated and came back, because it's so, means so much that you enjoy your time enough that you actually want to come back and see each other again, and see all the new people and their new scripts and their new films. Um, and uh, I know that you're all doing great work. Um, Val, you've done so many amazing films outside of here, and, uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to be... Um, uh, yeah, in fact, we're going to be showing one again uh, as we're part not, of... are we? Not tonight, not today. Okay. But I meant, I meant at the new Chelmsford Shore oh, Film yeah. Festival, um, where we've been... I think we've had one of your films each. Yeah, I've, I've been in it every day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you. I just want to say thank you so much to the seniors. It's, uh, it's very nostalgic seeing you all. We missed you a lot. Uh, it hasn't been the same without you. And... Um, we hope that in the future you will come back and visit and be a part of projects. Um, and yeah, does, did any of the seniors want to say anything? I want to add one thing. Okay. There was a time when I first came here. <laughs> when I first came here, Patrick Snow was taller than me. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay, back forth. Okay. There, there, comes, there comes a time in people's lives that act on TV where they outgrow Patrick Snow. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the, requi the prerequisite. The pre -re the requisite. Yeah. The, the, okay. Yeah. You so you if you time. don't if you don't outgrow me then you failed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. Um, how should we wrap this thing up? So, do any of the seniors have anything to say, or do you want? Or I would say. All right, all right, all right. Val's going to say something. Valerie, everybody. I'm just going to say that I don't know if any of you know this. Uh, I came back in TV my sophomore year. I wasn't very confident, and here I found so many friends. And now, actually, I am a film studies major at college, and I really don't think I would be where I am without acting TV. And I just want to thank each and every one of you. And even, like, the new people that I don't know, like, I really hope you, like, find something that you absolutely love, and I'm really happy that acting TV can be something that you love as much as I love. I would just like to give a very special thank you to Sam for organizing most of this event. And for Sam, woohoo, thank you, Sam, for this. Wouldn't happen without. And Adam, who supervised and And Adam, Adam, thank you, Adam. Woohoo, Adam. And you helped hand over the reins to like, the new organizers. Yeah, exactly. So uh, without further ado, thank you all for coming to this award ceremony. And now we're going to go chill over there and do some more stuff. Awesome, guys. Woohoo! Congratulations to everybody.